Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about these long fi GPS trackers from Invoxia. There really isn't much to this tracker itself. There is a micro USB charging port and of course a cable that comes with it for you to be able to charge it. There is a small attached lanyard here that is a, a bit elastic so that you have a little bit more retention. And there is a little button here, uh, just basically just indented. You can see if I go ahead and press it, that little light or indicator light comes on. And also by pressing the button and let's say holding it down for a few seconds, it'll completely reboot the GPS tracker. So if you are having any kind of issues, be sure to uh, reboot it. And that's basically it for this tracker. It's a uh, super lightweight, barely notice that you even have it in your pocket. I opted for picking up two of these GPS tracker devices. And I wanted one, as I previously mentioned, for my pickup truck. And uh, I wanted the second one to keep with me. And I do a lot of hiking and a lot of rucking and walking around with my dog. And I wanted to be able to track the local network in my areas, miners that I have going on in this network, and be able to get information back from both the Helium network and, of course, these Invoxia GPS trackers. Just send me the location of where this little GPS tracker is, whether it's in my truck or whether it's in my backpack, and I receive those notifications via alerts on my phone through the Invoxia app. Okay, so first off, we have to set it up, and that is easily done by downloading the Invoxia app, which works both on Apple and Droid devices and is free. Once you download and install the app, you follow the simple setup directions that you'll see right there on your device's screen. Once you do unbox the tracker, you wanna go ahead and connect it to the USB cable and charge it up. Not only will this begin to charge it, but it will also wake up your device and get it ready to be paired with the app so that you can continue your setup process. As I mentioned, I opted for two of these devices. So when it came to the setup process, I went ahead and set up my first one, which was going to be in the pickup truck and named that one Red. And the second one was added afterwards and I named that one Coach. And that is intended to be in one of my backpacks as I'm walking or hiking around. There is a geofence option and you can go ahead and configure that to whatever preference you want and set your area. And once the GPS goes outside of that area, you will receive a notification. Keep in mind that there are a lot of details and specifications when it comes to this little long fi GPS tracker, and I'm not going to be able to go over all of them in this video, but I will list them in my blog post. So if you wanna get all that information and more as well as purchase links, be sure to head over to it. I will link that blog post in the description field below. Another feature that I find useful is with this uh, GPS tracker, once it moves and even tilts, once again, you have the settings in your app to uh, go ahead and set sensitivity and things like that, it will send you a notification. So just if somebody were to pick up my backpack and move it somewhere, I'm going to get a notification. If somebody moves my truck, even just when the truck starts from the vibration of the motor, I end up getting a notification. You can go ahead and disable that also in the app. Now, as far as the tracking, I have about three months worth of data and let's get into a little bit of that. I am in the New Jersey, New York City area. So there are helium hotspots all over the place. So there was plenty of coverage and redundant coverage in my area when it came to testing these little devices. When it came time to placing this GPS tracker in my pickup truck, I tried various locations and they all seemed to test the same. So for me, the more convenient place and to keep this out of the way was in the glove box and that's where I kept it ever since. As you can tell here, the GPS tracker did a good job of sending my locations every few minutes. There are various interval settings, but I had mine set to ping every five minutes. The shorter the intervals, the faster that your battery will deplete. At max setting, you can get about six months on a single charge from these little trackers. Now, there were times when the pings would take longer than five minutes, but on a whole, the trackers worked well. I did notice that when I traveled at faster speeds, not all the notifications and position locations were locked. I ended up heading to Chicago for a few days and ended up, uh, incidentally, because uh, the GPS unit was in my backpack and I grabbed the backpack, brought it with me, and ended up tracking a bunch of stuff in Chicago. 
And uh, Chicago is obviously a big city and has a huge helium presence there. So it was once again pretty cool to see it tracking my movements as I walked around and did some sightseeing, as well as on a few Uber rides where I just ended up jumping in the vehicle and uh, it ended up tracking those movements also. There are also times when there is quite a bit of lag when it comes to receiving alerts. But keep in mind that I feel this has to do with the Helium network itself. As they continue to improve and speed things up, so will the performance of these IoT devices, including these GPS trackers. There is also a feature that if you press the button on the tracker itself, it will send a notification to the app, to your phone, alerting you that the button has been pressed. While using the app, you're uh, using a lot of Google features, so it's pretty cool that you can integrate that and check out more of a real street view type uh, views. And uh, there's a lot of different options there, including directions that you can click on that last location and have Google get you there. There have already been two firmware updates on these GPS trackers from Invoxia, so that's pretty cool. At least we know that uh, Invoxia is keeping up with everything and uh, making sure that we are getting the best experience and continuing to develop that experience. Since they are using Helium's long Fi network, the subscription fee is minimal. You actually get three full years of Helium network coverage bundled just by the initial purchase of this device. And on top of that, after those three years are done and over with, the yearly subscription is $19.99. That's it, $19.99 for the year. Now that's pretty amazing. So bottom line, if you want a GPS tracker for your vehicle, bike, briefcase, backpack, pet, child, or a hundred other applications, definitely take a look at these by Invoxia. They work well, they're inexpensive, and perform better with each passing day.